How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today in this video i'll be showing you some of the hidden one ui features and settings that you might not know you can actually do on your galaxy smartphone as always this is going to be a really useful video for all the samsung users so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let me show you one useful toggle which you should be adding right now to your quick settings panel if you just open the notification panel tap on this edit icon at the top right below you get this tile which says song search simply go ahead and drag it to your quick settings that's it now whenever you want to search for a song or any music playing around you you simply need to open the notification panel and click on this song search toggle Another way to quickly find the name of a song is by using the circle to search feature. You just need to long press on the navigation bar and then tap on this music icon. It will identify the song for you. But in case you don't have the circle to search feature on your Galaxy smartphone, then you can just use the song search available right inside the quick settings panel. Similarly, there are shortcuts for taking screenshots, creating notes, you can also add this extra dim shortcut directly to the quick settings for easier access. So I'll recommend you to go ahead and add those extra tiles which you think might be useful for you. Samsung phones have one of the best displays you can get on any smartphone. But did you know there is an option to further enhance and add more vibrancy and saturation to make your display look even better and get more punchy colors while watching content on your phone. All you have to do is just head over to your phone settings, go to display, Scroll down and you will get this option called screen mode. Simply go inside. By default, it is set to vivid. If you want to have more natural colors, then you can set it to natural. But if you are someone who prefers more saturation and vividness, you need to click on advanced settings. Now you will get this vividness slider. You can crank it all the way to get more saturated and vibrant colors that will make your phone's display look more punchy and a lot better. This is something which was recently added with the release of S24 Ultra. So if you got a latest Samsung phone, then definitely go ahead and make use of this new slider as per your requirement. Next, let me show you a couple of notification settings which you might want to change on your device. If you go into settings, select notifications and then go inside advanced settings. Here you will see this setting which says show notification icons. By default, it is set to three most recent icons and what it actually means is that you can only see three most recent app notification icons in the status bar. You need to expand in order to check whether you have got any other notifications on your phone. If you want, you can change it to show all notifications and as you can see all the app icons from which you have received notifications will appear right in the status bar. So now you don't have to expand and see all other notifications. There is also an option which only shows the number of notifications you have received on your phone. Next in the notification settings, you can enable this toggle called manage notification categories for each app. It is disabled by default but you need to turn this on so that the notification category option will appear on every single application you have installed on your phone. Once enabled, now if you go into app notifications, for example, let me just open Twitter. Here you can see we have this option called notification categories. Once you go inside, you can decide what categories of notifications you want to receive from this specific app. I can just disable notifications for DMs and recommendations. So instead of completely disabling the notifications, you can just hide notifications for a specific set of categories. This option will only show up if you enable the manage categories toggle inside the advanced settings. Next, let me show you some tips and tricks inside the my files application. Here if you open images or videos, tap on this three dot button, then click on view. By default, it is set to list view, but if you want, you can change it to grid or even we have this option which will show all the images in their real ratio. If you want to have a better look at your pictures without having to open them one by one, you can change the view style to real ratio and all your pictures can now be viewed in a much better way. Next in my files, if I want to create a shortcut of any folder, let's say I want to get quicker access to this download folder. So what I'll do is just press and hold on this folder and now with my other finger, I'll go back to my home screen and place it anywhere I want to. Like this, you can create shortcuts for different folders and access them directly from your home screen. Next, if you go into settings, connections and then select mobile hotspot. Here, if you scroll down, you get this option called one-time password. 
This can be extremely useful when you are sharing the internet with some guest or stranger. You can enable this setting instead of sharing the original password with some random strangers. The next time you turn on mobile hotspot, this password will get reset. So if you are not comfortable sharing your phone's hotspot password with people who are not close to you, then you can definitely use this one time password option which is available right inside the phone settings. And lastly, let me show you some hidden tools which can be found inside the calculator. When you open the calculator app, you can see there is a ruler icon in the center. Simply click on it and this will unlock some more hidden tools which can be useful at times. We have got the unit converter to convert the length from inches to centimeter. You can convert weight, temperature, volume, data speed and much more. So you get a bunch of useful tools inside the calculator and now you don't need to google anything. You can easily do conversions right inside the Samsung calculator app. So this is something which I'm sure not many of you know about even if you're using the calculator quite frequently on your phone. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful hidden features and settings you should enable right now on your Samsung device. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.